Well, it's snowing. Um, yeah. Hello, welcome to Snowed In. This is episode six. Sorry we haven't posted an episode in a long time. We've just been like super busy and kind of like ran off track with time and getting the Snowed In episodes out and stuff. Um, so it's been a while, but this is episode six. And in today's episode, we will be talking about the possible new biggest ski resort in New England that could happen in the next couple of years. And we will be talking about the snowstorms that have been happening in New England recently. If you've never heard of Les Autumn before, he is one of the biggest names in New England skiing and resorts in general. You may hear his name out west, but you it's more really his name comes up in New England. Yeah, he just he's one of the biggest names in the business of skiing in New England. At some point in the past couple decades, he bought and completely transformed resorts like Sunday River and Sugarbush, and also acquired resorts like Cranmore and Attatash before. Now, cutting away from Les Autumn for a minute, if you have been living in New England for a long time or ha- are a skier and have been up north and especially some uh, at some lost ski areas in New England, you might remember the Balsams Resort in very northern New Hampshire in Dixville Notch on Lake Laureate. Uh, Balsams Resort was like this super nice luxury um, uh, year-round destination hotel kind of resort uh, in, New- in northern New Hampshire. Uh, it's kind of similar to Mount Washington Resort in a way, um, that it has like a, it's like this beautiful grand hotel, but kind of like an old fashioned style to it. Um, it, it was very nice and luxurious. Uh, they had a spectacular golf course there with amazing views. And just like Mount Washington, they had a small ski area across the street. The Boston Resort unfortunately had to close in 2011 because of their um, location, because of how like far north it was. And people weren't really wanting to travel that far to ski there in the winter because of the travel situation and their ski area wasn't that big at all. And this like, yeah, it just wasn't that big. So people didn't want to come. So it was really only people coming for the summer and they weren't getting as much business. So they had to close in 2011. Now going back to Les Auden, this is some of the biggest resort news we've heard in a long time. Les Auden is bringing back the Balsams Resort. Now, again, he like b- eventually, or at some point in the past, he bought Sunday River and Sugarbush and transformed them into the incredible resorts they are today. Auden has been working on bringing back the Balsams Resort back to life for seven years now. Uh, and last year he actually bought out his partner. So ba- the Balsams Resort is now 100% in his hands. Not only is he completely redoing the resort, but he's I- expanding the ski area in an insane way. Phase one of building the new Balsams Wilderness Ski Area will be around 500 acres, which places it in between Stowe and Okemo in terms of acreage. The full build out will have over 2,200 acres which blows Killington out of the water. Killington is the beast of the East and is the biggest resort in New England by a lot. And that's only like 1,500, 1,600 acres. This new Boston resort is gonna have 2,200 acres of skiable terrain if this all goes to plan. There will be over 20 new lifts installed Uh, There will be a 500 acre balsam glade in Hodge Valley, um, so they will have tons of backcountry skiing, like uh, similar to Sugarloaf with their Burnt Mountain area. The balsams will have the East Coast's highest capacity gondola and largest snowmaking water source in East. The gondola will bring people from the resort over Lake Gloriette and the road up to a mid-mountain lodge where there will be many lifts, including the beginner area. Plans to renovate the Dicks and Hampshire houses and making them into condos is also set for the new plan. They're also looking to build a hotel and convention center and performing arts center at the resort. That's a lot. Yeah. They will also refurbish the golf course and possibly add housing along the golf course, so it will be an insanely big resort. Phase one could begin as soon as this spring and be ready for skiers for the 2023-2024 ski season. In conclusion, this is a huge promise Les Auden is making. It is, again, the Balsams Resort is very far north. It's so far north that you have to drive past 
resorts like Loon, Water of the Valley, Cannon, and Bretton Woods in Mount Washington to get there and take a lot of back roads once you're off the highway. But that might not matter if it's the biggest in one of the snowiest resorts in the East. I haven't really done a segment on weather yet in Snowden. Last episode, I kind of did one, but we kind of had to edit it out because the weather plans changed a lot. Um, but a major storm blessed New England ski resorts with a lot of snow over Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. Killington got almost two feet of snow that weekend, Sugarbush got 16 inches, and much of the other Northeast resorts got between six and 20 inches. During this recording, right now, a blizzard and a nor'easter, well, blizzard slash nor'easter, is slamming into, nor into the Northeast right now with tons of snow. However, most of the northern resorts in New England, sadly, aren't getting too much of it. But the east coast of Massachusetts, all of Rhode Island, and coastal Maine are getting slammed with 10 plus inches of snow and extremely heavy winds. I know that was kind of a short episode, but I hope you learned more about the new possible beast of the east. Um, and yeah, that was kind of a short episode, but that's all I have for you for episode six. If everything goes well with timing, unlike the past couple of weeks, <laughs> episode seven will come out on Saturday, February 12th, around that time, somewhere on that weekend, if again, things go well. Thanks for watching, see you next time.